What you don't know about Reed is everything to fill in the gaps. While he wears a tie, he's a modern day hippie who loves yoga. He values dry wit over dry facts. He's headed to China in February, and on Bob's wow. suggestion, that will be the next speech topic. But for today, please help us welcome Reed Manchester with his speech titled Vote for Reed. Vote for Reed. Oh, Reed. 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 My fellow Americans, I stand before you today because our beloved country is in deep trouble. Not long ago, the United States was the most amazing nation in the world in science, education, military, and financial might. Today we have serious problems, like a debt spiraling out of control, a completely broken medical insurance system that suffers $17 billion a year in Medicare fraud, we have the world's leading rate of incarceration. And the tax code can only be estimated in size at three million words. Nine million words, my apologies. But my leadership campaign isn't about fear, nor about smear. You won't hear me slinging mud, Gingrich or Romney. I stand for solutions. I stand for solutions. So let's talk solutions. My platform rests on point number one. America has long been known for its military might. We have weapons technology that eclipses other nations. Unmanned drones, live video feeds from the battleground, stealth bombers. Our Army, Navy, and Air Force can kill people more efficiently and more quickly than any other nation on Earth. Whether or not that should be the case is a matter for another speech. But here are the facts. National defense represents 19% of our GDP. We operate 54 domestic and 34 international Air Force bases alone. And it's estimated that military contractor fraud for Afghanistan and Iraq ran $60 billion. That's $200 for every American man, woman, and child. I ask you, what would you do with an extra $200? Me, I might hire midget wrestlers for an hour to entertain me. <laughs> you might hire a classical dancer to train you, perhaps hire Molly Maid to clean your house. <laughs> In New Jersey, the military has 80,000 cans of silly string stockpiled, which they use to identify tripwires in the battleground. It's stockpiled in New Jersey because they couldn't figure out a legal way to bring it overseas to the battleground. Now, as I understand it, the military has planes and boats, thousands of them. So how they could miss that, I'm not quite sure. But America has problems at home, and most of those problems need to be solved with money. Whatever the motivations were for our 20-year presence in the Middle East, assuring an oil, oil supply, or spreading capitalism, or freedom, or just generally kicking ass because we like to, <laughs> it has contributed to change in those countries. The Arab Spring means lasting change in that world. And I'd argue that our humanitarian responsibilities should be coming to an end, and we should be focusing our energies on making America strong again. So with your support, I will cut the U.S. military budget by 50%, ensuring that the money saved is spent on worthwhile and practical purposes. Imagine what a portion of $325 billion will do for our education system. Platform number two. The manual for the 1040 easy tax filing form is 41 pages. Does that sound easy to you? <laughs> no. no. The IRS operating budget is $11 billion and employs 90,000 people. Every American pays $36 for someone to sit around and count your taxes and, and find ways in which you avoided the loopholes in a bloated and non-functioning tax system. 1.3 million Americans are forced to work counting beans, counting your beans. I love Tom. We all love Tom. But wouldn't it be great Tom? <laughs> yes. As, as <laughs> if we reformed the tax code, 
we could release Tom into the wild, and, and he could run free and do something really fulfilling with his life. <laughs> Imagine an America with an extra happy 1.3 million people. I say free the accountants, let them do things like ice sculpting or dog walking or professional finger painting. So in my first term, we will implement a flat income tax. My tax advisory panel consists of leading experts like Trump, fast out, skilling, people who are really powerful in the area of tax evasion. Who better to consult? <laughs> <laughs> and they concluded that a 23% flat income tax will bring in the same amount of revenue as our current tax system, yet slash that $11 billion operating budget to near nothing. And the effective tax rate will drop 2% as well. My third point won't be a favorite of Michelle's, unfortunately. Do you ever wonder why your Viagra costs so much? <laughs> and the associating heart medicine to count the Viagra? People, in America we have an organization that was formed to protect us, which now really only harms us. It's called the FDA, or Federal Dumbasses. <laughs> the FDA has far-reaching powers, which grow every time there's a crisis of any sort. Is it a car accident? Give the FDA more power, more money. The incompetence of this department is well documented and spans devices and drugs that have been harmful to us. But far more important is the incredible cost of the FDA approval process, which can run 10 years. Meanwhile, in that 10 years, people are dying. And high-priced drugs result of that process. And what do high-priced high -priced drugs result in? High health insurance premiums. So with my FDA overhaul plan, we will result in a massive reduction in powers and a corresponding reduction in drug prices. Cheap drugs make everyone happy. We know that. Just look at the Canadians. <laughs> so in conclusion, would you like your children to be able to spell their name correctly? Would you like Tom to do something fulfilling with his life? <laughs> would you like your Viagra to cost less? Well, my fellow Americans, this was once a great land, but I hear susurrent rumors that of our decline. 2011 was the Arab Spring. Let 2012 be the American Spring and vote for Reed. <laughs>